Hello, my name's Jenny and I'm a current medical student at Swansea University. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to be a medical student. So the idea of studying medicine was definitely very daunting to me before I got in, but soon into the course I learned that the hardest part about medicine is getting in and once you're in it's actually okay. Here at Swansea University we're taught through case-based learning so what this means is that each week we have a different case. For example, it could be pneumonia, diarrhea, sudden visual loss, dementia. And the clinician will come in on a Monday and do a case presentation where they'll present a patient or maybe two who's come in with whatever problem and how the patient presented, what signs and symptoms they had, what their history was. We'll then have lectures throughout the week going through um, diagnosis of whatever the condition may be and treatment and Sort of what's happening within the body to cause this disease process um, and anything sort of surrounding the condition that we're learning about. We'll then have uh, anatomy related to that as well as our clinical skills teaching related to that and then finally on Friday we'll have a expert forum where sometimes the patient actually comes in, the patient that the clinician has been talking about throughout the week and tells us things from their own perspective and we can ask them questions about what it's been like to live with that diagnosis and how it affects them on a daily basis and the struggles that they had and what was most concerning to them. Sometimes the clinician will come up with questions for us to sort of trigger our thinking and see if we've understood things properly and identify areas where we actually haven't. And then we can use the session to clear up any questions we do still have. We have a spiral curriculum, which means that topics we visit, we get to revisit and recover from maybe a slightly different perspective, going into a bit more detail each time, but it really reinforces your learning and sort of makes sure it's long-term memory you're forming. We have lots of different ways that we're taught. So we have clinical skills teaching where we are in small groups and we learn things like how to do a cardiovascular exam, how to do a respiratory exam and how to take blood, those types of things. We also have anatomy teaching. So here at Sonzi we are broken into five different groups and we go through different stations, we rotate through. And for example, if we're learning about the lung anatomy, one station might be a chest x-ray, another might be using the anatomy models, another maybe using the 3D TV, another using the cadavers, another looking at the histology and so on. So we're looking at the same bit of anatomy, but from different perspectives and learning different parts of the anatomy in each station. And we also have lectures and workshops and tutorials, which teaches the fundamentals of the case of the week. We also have placement. Um, so this sort of slowly builds up throughout the degree in year one, starting with 10 days in a GP practice, minimum of 10 days in secondary care, and also a five week block in secondary care. So secondary care is the hospital. In second year, it's 10 days again in GP, minimum of 10 days in secondary care, and then also two five week blocks in secondary care. And third and fourth year is pretty much mostly placement. You do have teaching weeks dotted in there, and you have teaching within the weeks in the hospital setting. Here at Swansea, we have locks, so learning opportunity in the clinical setting. And these are the minimum of 10 days that I was talking about earlier. So there's not a restriction on how many you can do, but you have to do at least 10. And basically we have a list of about 600 different things that you can do and you just book onto what you want. So for example, I've done a session on a ambulance with the paramedics, blue lighting everywhere. I've been to the prison with a psychiatrist and spoke to some of the prisoners in psychiatric consultations. I've uh, been to the labour ward and assisted on two C-sections. Um, I've seen open heart surgery. We have placement from day one here in Swansea. Within a few weeks, we'd all had a few days in hospital doing these locks, as well as our first GP placement. Um, and I think that's really essential it's very different learning how to take a history and do an examination from your friend or from an actor versus a real patient and to try and think about what question you need to ask the patient next as well as responding to what they actually said and engaging and being empathetic 
and trying to figure out what's actually going on, what the diagnosis is, how you're going to treat it, it's very difficult. And the earlier that you get practicing doing that on a real patient, the better. I really like it here at Swansea. We've got lots of open space. So lots of people do activities like surfing on the beaches. People go like running and cycling. Um, there's lots of nice outdoor spaces for walking and gorgeous beaches to do it on. So I did an undergraduate degree in medical sciences um, and everyone on my degree has done a previous undergraduate degree. And what's quite nice is that we all come in from slightly different backgrounds. So mine was obviously medical sciences, um, but actually a lot of people did things like law or drama and actually each different subject helps in its own way. So everyone has a little thing that they come in with that they're expert on. So we all help each other out here. It's quite a nice family feel um, and sort of regularly have students in the year above holding sessions for us in the evening on topics that sort of they felt they struggled with and wanted a bit of extra help with and running mock exams for us anytime we have any exams. Um, and even people within our own year happy to run sessions for the rest of the cohort if they sort of understand something quite well from prior experience or learning. Um, but everyone's very happy to share it all and help each other out, which is what you need in medicine, really. But yeah, that's everything from me. So thank you very much for listening.